What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Fable34, and today we are back. Today we're going to be checking out Inbetweeners. We've made it to season two, y'all. The gang is back on their bullshit, most definitely. <laughs> season one was, uh, it was, it was, once I got the idea of the show, I could see where things were going. After the initial three episodes, I just started to dig the characters, um, and get a better understanding of their dynamic and their I think their chemistry is actually uh, probably the the most stellar thing out of the show so far that being said guys let's just hop into one and two for season two of the betweeners saw Jay at the caravan club and the gang there and uh, went to shit in the finale there's actually kind of some sweet moments here and there and Jay we got a lot more development of Jay's character in that two part so uh, as always if you enjoyed this one then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already with that being said let's get into it guys Yeet. However, I have made friends here, and in some ways, this term will be better than the last. Oh, this is, this is not all... other ways, a lot Spoilers? Lot yeah, well, I'll tell you one thing that won't be flimsy. My cock. There's this sexy housewife down there, and every year she fucks one bloke from our school. My mate went last year, and he banged her. Bet mature bird. She loves young meat. Your imaginary friend fucks an imaginary older woman. It could plan. We could let off a load of fireworks in our room. Could do. Who's Pedo Kennedy? Geography teacher and Pedo. I don't believe the school would actually employ a pedophile. Wanking over the school orchestra. Yes. That's crazy. What's he asked you to do, Neil? He's got to collect a load of samples down there. Now, Alright, Neil's joined. Play I'm going to be on a boat. In a new year, but some things never change. Oh, don't do that. Friend! Oh, what's up, friend? Oh, we're holding a friend for your friend. Oh, spunk samples, friend. What? Hard kids at the back. Oh, well, I'm not leaving without one. I don't think that you understand, oh. but we got up early to secure these seats, and there's no reason- Yeah, fine, good point. At but least we'll try to hold the ground. I've got feelings too, you know. Fine. You're sitting next to me. <laughs> oh, what? Well, it's me or Mr. Kennedy. Now, come on, hurry up! <laughs> Who are you? I'm Lauren Harris, I'm new. I was the old man. Scary new. being new, isn't it? Briefcase wanker. Oh, it's not been like that. No, it wasn't for me either. A feeling that anything see how this happen. goes. It is to get her attention. On the don't be embarrassing. All right! Everyone, watch this! Oh, get him to hawk, yeah! <laughs> Neil's just being silly. He's yeah. doing that foreign thing. Do it again, Neil! Yeah, do it again, Neil! <laughs> what? Are you Classic laughing? Jay. Apparently, right, she comes up to you and asks for a lick of your cornetto. It's like a code. Brilliant. They're gonna oh, call him out on his bullshit now. Barson, that thing you did in the bus was really sad and pathetic and not funny. Seems like everyone's calling him out. Let's go! I think I'm down here for girls, mate. Get enough of them back at home. I saw her first. What? Benny said she was fit. Here, sit down here. Do you remember oh, well, the game? Well, actually, he's eight, so he's a bit more mature like, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Feisty one, you are! Oh. Feisty one, you are! Why are you talking? Like what? That? It was Yoda. Oh. From Star Wars. But why? It's the same impression I was doing on the coach for about an hour. I thought you might, you know, have a problem. <laughs> or Asperger's, maybe? Wrong again! Yes. Um, we're doing a survey for school. It can take as long as you like. Sorry? What form of transport did you take into town today? I drove. Do you wear, like, stockings and that? Is this about transport? It's just the questions written down. Uh, one last one. I thought you were only interested in Carly. Yeah, oh, new season, things change. Well, right, you know. Right, well, if you think she fancies me, then I should probably go for it. Perhaps, except I'm saying that I like her. I should go for it, though. She is fit, so you can see my problem. Not really. <laughs> you know how it is. How? <laughs> Will's facial reactions and awkward pauses right. episode is pretty on point. Yet. There's a little noise down the hall. It sounds like a party. Do you fancy it? Party? Hmm. Cool that sounds. <coughs> you know you're never ever gonna get laid. Jay was wrong. He's trying so hard. I don't know why he thought that was a good idea. Oh well. He's got a bottle of vodka. Love lockdowns a banger. Do you want to walk me back to my dorm, maybe? My pleasure. Oh, um, I meant Simon. <coughs> uh, yeah, okay. We'll both walk you back then. Good night then, Will. Simon, do you fancy hanging out tomorrow, maybe, in the free time? Just the two of us? Bit rude. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. I'd love to do that. Cool. Good night then, Will. Yeah, whatever. Good night, Simon. Don't join. Stop. Let's, Let's get going. Oh, getting late now, Si. Off we go. Will, why are you being such a dick? Come on now, mate. See you back at the dorm, then. I'll leave a knife right by my bed. Just pop it in my back later, mate. Can you believe it? I think she really likes me. Yeah, I think it's time to get some sleep now, Simon. He's, he's fuming. It's only me, boys. Just, uh, 
Ooh, swimming's tiring. Are your legs tired? I think they're okay. Yes. Quick the massage fuck? before bedtime. What the fuck, dude? Um, the shift of lactic acid? Not now, John. Oh. Was that a dream or did that just happen? I that thought was that was your wet dream. Mean. What the fuck? No. Neil didn't seem too emotionally scarred by the night's events. She's pretty cool, actually. You see? Fuck! Oh! You know, baby eyed nail sticks! <laughs> um, are you sure you're all right with it? Hi, Simon. Hello. Haven't seen you at all this trip. Where have you been? Um, <laughs> here. And now Carly's That's feeling them. That's a real shame, Carly, because Simon's hanging out with. Is it Lauren this afternoon? No. Oh, no. right. Is that the new girl? Um, see you down the front at three. See you later then. You can't meet up with both of them, can you? Well, Shit. depends on the level of hijinks that they want to have. Cancel Lauren, can I? Will you talk to Lauren then? Of course. I'll let her down gently for you, mate. I'm disappointed in Will. With some... He's a twat. So I said I'd do it because I think you deserve an explanation. Uh, she's probably just got an old face. It must be because of all the jizz she's had on it. I bet her body's still pretty fit. One cornetto. Is that all? Do you want to lick it? Sorry? My cornetto, do you want to lick it? Oh, that is kind. I've had enough ice cream today, though, sweetheart. Oh, right. A bit late, am I? Do you want something else? Oh, God. Can you suck me off? So it looked like Jay's search for a nympho had hit a brick wall. Oh my god, what does this look like? Oh, I, I, permission to use Vault Cap already, that Vault Cap's tonight. And it was quite good fun, actually. Even the locals seemed pleased to see us. Ahoy, hoy! For about 10 seconds, anyway. Brilliant. Neil, do not throw. What happens now? Nothing, you've got to put bait on it. Hey, it's GG. Holy fucking shit, that's cold! Neil, out, Neil! <laughs> Why don't you do that? Put that coat round him, Neil. I'll get the engine started. Don't worry, I'll cover him up. Oh, fuck, why would this start? Right! Oh, my. What the hell has that happened? I don't know, it didn't have any bait on it. Get it out! What is oh, going on? It's just a fish. It's a fucking terrifying massive fish, Neil! Get rid of it! Oh, God, he shit himself! That's only for emergencies! For emergencies! What if it's a shark? It's not a shark, Jay! Oh, get it out, Neil! What am I watching? Oh, fuck. Fuck it! Is that a fish? Yes, Lauren! It's a fucking fish! Give me a minute! Are we gonna have very cold? <laughs> oh my god, it was a fish. Hi, Carly! Oh, Neil, you put a sock on it. Now we just wait for the sea police. <laughs> pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah, pretty cool. Germany allowing yeah, students Simon. to observe events out and so in that sense, the sense, Swanage was a complete success. But at least some good came of it. Lauren had to move away shortly afterwards and Simon never saw her again. Oh, damn! I actually kind of liked her. Fuck. Well, luckily for me, someone invented Valentine's Day. My favourite oh. annual humiliation. Love from your secret slut. I didn't get none. I can't believe you got so many. Yes. It is hard to believe. Jay, you massive stud, please, please spaff on my tits. Oh, I'm come on. Valentine's You're so bitch. bait, bro. It's just funny how all these cards seem to be written in the same scrawly handwriting. Oh, who's that from? Hannah Fields, in the year below. Sniff it to see if she rubbed her fanny on it. Neil. Give that to your mum for us. Would you like me to ask her out for you? Would you? Um, let me think about that. Would I? No. No, I fucking wouldn't. It says here I'm going to work at a garage? Yes? Come on. Me. A garage. Does that seem likely? I wrote to the local paper, sir, to shadow a journalist there. Maybe oh, I true. wrote a few pieces myself. Hi. I'm a journalist. I get paid extra for this, you know. Airplane driver. And that is? Someone who drives planes. You mean a pilot? Do I? What was your second choice? Working with cars. Right. Mistake here somewhere. Well, that's okay. Mistakes happen. Shall I go to the paper tomorrow? No. Just to fuck with them. <laughs> no. You go to the garage. Can't or won't. Oh god, here we go again. You pick. It's the same result. Does this mean I won't be driving any planes? Oh, Neil's is getting higher in the character rank gets for me, man. What kind of snot? Oh good. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I ain't your fucking mate. He's touchy. Yeah, it's probably because he's such a short ass. <laughs> yeah, what'd you say? What? Oh shit. He's taking the piss, Danny. Yeah? Oh, They're gonna draw some right. hands after for that's a second. Creepy. A date. No will. Not a date. Just two friends hanging out. Great. See you on Friday then. She said it wasn't a date, but we both knew it was a date. Before that, though, I... Ooh. Oh, God. No offence, but I'm never going to work in a place like this. Place like this? 
you know, it's all kind of manual. Sunny. First job is we need some stuff picking up from the suppliers. Fine, we just get a pen and paper. Spirit level bubbles. Bubbles for spirit level. You need anything, Wolfie? They don't exist. I don't know what you mean. Now, I know that these initiation ceremonies exist in certain types of workplace, <laughs> and don't get me wrong, he doesn't I enjoy do himself the any favours. Too sharp for us. I'll tell you what, why don't we initiate you with a pint at lunch instead? Neil was at the newspaper. Oh, can't okay, let's see how this okay. goes. Neil in the newsroom? Fine. Premium right. journalism. When are you looking to get out of this assignment, Neil? Oh, don't worry, I won't steal nothing. <laughs> how long's my lunch hour? An hour. It's all right, we'll be able to drive figures soon, I reckon. Oi, Jay. Oh, Jay's what pubs. you stop for? Now get back to work. I ain't paying you to sit on your scrawny ass all day. Nice. Dad's right. a top tier asshole. Doing here? Who's Danny Moore? He's been mouthing off about how he's going to do you in. Who is he? <laughs> I don't even know who he is. I heard he's from a well-eyed family in Northwood. His brother did time. Oh, Northwood? Bit nice knowing you, Si. Oh, what is this? My dad's bigger than your dad. What are we, 12? To be fair, was always a big fear of mine in high school or, yeah, whatever. You know, accidentally messing with the wrong person. I'm not fucking with that shit, dude. I'm not fighting anyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice one. <laughs> for that guy, that was a much more civilized way to work for me. It's a shame we don't get to do it again, but I'm... Oh, no, hey, oh, oh, no, oh, no. I kicked that. Why? You cut me out, please. Uh, what about my allergies? Come on, let's talk <laughs> about this. But I knew how to deal with bullies. I got my mum to tell the teacher. <laughs> Would you excuse me? Just just for a second. Sounds about a laugh out of the room. <laughs> oh, fucking ass. Goddamn Hydra flags. It'd be funny to watch you fuck it up again. <laughs> yeah, you might cry. Well, great. No, fine. See you there. I think so before too I date with Charlotte, and it was a date, which titties would you spunk over? Nice. Well, that's not going to be on YouTube. <laughs> All right, then. She's fit, she's older than me, and she goes like a porn star. Oh, right. Yeah, and she's got massive titties, and I... <coughs> well, I <coughs> fucked her hard and all night long. <coughs> You're 17. You're 17. Yeah, yeah, I just look older. Except he won't do that, because she loves me. She loves you? <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to cry. Um, I mean, she loves to fuck me. Yeah, of course she does. Well, that you evening, set yourself up every time. Neil enlighten me. Oh, he's going to get decked in it. <laughs> I say you gotta play it with these young girls. Young. You go over, shit, she's coming over here. No, I mean a proper drink. Oh, right. Yeah. Is it the same bottle for the last episode? Because it just kept the same prop? Oh, you're so horny, tongue me. Um, how old are you? <sighs> Play softly, catchy monkey. I didn't know you spoke Spanish. See, I told you this was a Fucking great place hell. to get your fingers stinky. Yes. What the fuck? Crikey. Crikey. Fuck me, she's gonna wake him off. Jamie gets only gone and pulled an experienced cock handler. Oh, oh someone so hugely. I was gonna say, what if that's the kid? Get wanked off. Yes. Well, we really do have a lot. Girlfriend or something. Getting a bit weird now. I don't like it when he makes eye contact. None of us do, Neil. You fucking dead! How embarrassing. He's talking to a load of the Northwood lads. What? And they don't look 12, to be fair. No, 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 no. Nice to meet you. You're exactly like Will said you was. Right, I hope that's a compliment. <laughs> Please don't. Your friend? From work experience, not really. No, we didn't have sex. He did, did he? No, that didn't happen. No, I'm not a porn star. How many chances do you think you're going to get to be a dickhead, Will? See you later. Because I'm not the one who'll be working in a shitty garage doing manual labour for the rest of my life. See you Monday. No! <laughs> no, you won't! I could sit down and do it. What? I do that sometimes, you know, for a treat. Oh, fuck, just get on with it then. <laughs> who is it? It's obviously me. What is happening in here? Your mum is coming to rescue us from the toilet of an under-18 disco because we're being bullied by 12-year-olds. Precisely. Oh, no one... God, this is a fucking disaster! Oh, no, actually, it's okay. It's fine. I've worked it out. I just need to move away and change schools. My mother's here to pick him and his friends up. That's William McKenzie, year 12 at Rushmore. Please come to the front with your mother's waiting to get you off. A girl touching your penis is not always a good thing. The fuck did I just watch?
And that was my reaction video to The Inbetweeners. This one was season two, episode one, and season two, episode two. So, quickly talk about those episodes. So, uh, the first one was the field trip episode, and now I think they actually did a pretty good job at, I guess, highlighting the 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 feeling and the idea of going on a field trip uh, with, with with your with your homies uh, in school. You know, doing things like making them honk, standing on the uh, standing on the bus, pissing off the teachers, and all this stuff. All that was actually really well done. Towards the end, it started to to pick up. A Especially on some of the, just some of the, just I guess, uh, funny bits. But I think overall, um, these two episodes, not the biggest fan of here. Things felt a fair, things felt fairly rushed this episode. And on top of that, Will was just, I was just, I was just not a big fan of Will here. I thought they did a better job at balancing his character last season with his frustration, him being different, his fucking up. I feel like their approach to it in the first season, where you know it was. He would make a mistake, but then you would understand why he did and redeem him slightly. Um, whereas, whereas I found for these two episodes, he was just a complete asshole the entire time, and I did not like him very much. I didn't like of, of being like super possessive in the first episode to uh, the him being very super condescending in the second episode, just wasn't it for me here. The, also, the like multiple like pedophilia jokes here, not for me. You have Jay and 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 Neil like on this mystical journey to go find this this elderly woman who's like I said though I think the parts were there on the bow and then you know Will's just getting extremely frustrated just starts cussing at the seagulls and whatnot uh I thought those are some bits of uh, some some decently funny bits there. yeah overall not the biggest fan I'm on the boat and Simon is naked and some of the, the off comments by Neil were probably the better elements to the not to, to to what I thought wasn't a very great episode of the series I felt like both of these episodes I think the second more than the first though uh had a lot more cringier moments and less of what I liked uh, what I enjoyed from the first season of the show, especially the, the latter half. But I will say though, apart from, from Will's, you know, just outwardly just yelling, um, and Simon, you know, <laughs> continually being the person to get ragged on the most or, or screwing up, I thought Neil actually was was particularly funny here when he was on the job at, uh, for the journalism job and just uh, how just aloof and goofy he is. Out of the boys group, he's becoming probably one of my favorites of them. How much of he's like in his own world. But yeah, I'm not too sure why they just decided to make Will a complete fuckhead here. Um, but I just wasn't a big fan of it, and I guess in turn, I didn't think the stories were all too great in some of the decisions that they decided to make. What, like, a few funny moments maybe, but a lot of just cringe and just like, I don't know what's going on here. Anyway though, guys, it's a little late here, but that was the Inbetweener Season 2, Episode 1 and 2, y'all. What'd you think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about these two episodes in the comment section down below. Did you feel similar to me? Did you find these to maybe be your favorite, or there was a lot of funnier moments? Also. So uh, my apologies for the longer delay on the in-betweeners. We'll be continuing back uh, at the normal pace moving forward. So I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.